Gun High School. Um, so a brief introduction of Gun High School. If you thought that uh, Mission San Jose had a lot of AP classes at 21, well, Gun High School actually has the most AP courses out of the five schools. We'll get into what are those AP courses and how many there actually are uh, in their key characteristics slide. Uh, and this is, but it is due to the fact that there are a lot of added art options on top of the standard STEM courses. And they even have more uh, offered STEM courses than their competitors as well, uh, especially for physics. Um, and then another key characteristic that we wanted to uh, touch upon is that for over the last about 10 years, there has been a, a stigma in the Bay Area that gun, gun high, uh, their students struggle with like stress and academic pressure more than their uh, competitors. However, when we looked at the data from the Healthy Kids survey, we did notice that those numbers uh, decreased throughout the years. And we'll get it more into that in the key characteristics slide as well. Um, but more for their brief introduction, their teacher to student ratio is one to uh, 17, which is very low. Uh, one of the main reasons why niche ranks gun so highly uh, second this year in the state and first last year in the state was because they do like that student to teacher ratio being lower. It adds more of a personalized education experience for these students. Um, and then for more of their uh, brief introduction, 93% of students or teachers, sorry, had three plus years of teaching experience. And then uh, for their matriculation rates, uh, Berkeley did drop by about 9% from almost 22, 21.79% uh, to 12.66%. Uh, and then their UCLA rates actually went up by about a percentage and a half from 12.45% in 2019 to almost 14% in 2020. Uh, now that we've covered the brief introduction, let's get into where do gun high school students go after graduation? So for where they go after graduation is that they do have an overwhelming interest for out-of-state universities, very similar to Limbrook, about 43, 44% of students uh, went to an out-of-state school, while about 18% went to a UC, 12%-ish uh, went to private schools in California, about 11% to community college, and around 5% to the CSUs. Uh, so now let's get into some of the key characteristics of GUN which is their AP course information. So as we said before, um, on top of math, science, English, gun offers an abundance of AP courses in arts related uh, fields as well. When you look at their uh, arts-based AP courses, they include art history, 2D art, 3D art, studio art, and music theory. Um, they also have a lot of language-based AP courses as well, the most out of all of them. They have five, French, German, Japanese, Mandarin, and Spanish. And then some other notable AP courses are are um, psychology and human geography. The only other school to offer psychology and human geography is Mission San Jose. And then uh, for gun, they're the only school to offer German, uh, 3D art, and they also have uh, more like physics AP course offered than their competitors. Um, but now that we cover the course information, let's get into the Healthy Kids Survey. So for their Healthy Kids Survey results, when looking at the data in key categories, such as uh, sadness, stress, and reasons for absence, Guns numbers uh, compare similarly to other top schools in the Bay Area. Um, the schools that we are comparing directly are Mission San Jose and Saratoga. We wanted to include Limbrook and Monta Vista as well, but the Fremont Union High School District, where they're from, did not include the numbers. So we have it from the Palo Alto District, which is Gunn, uh, the Fremont Unified School District, very similar name uh, for Mission San Jose, and the Los Gatos Saratoga School District, which where Saratoga is in. Um, and for the reasons for absence, uh, felt sad, stressed, or anxious among grade 11 students. 12% uh, uh, was for gun and 10% for Mission San Jose. So very similar numbers. And then when you look at the uh, felt sad or stressed in general over the last 12 months among grade 11 students, gun had 36%, Saratoga 35, Mission uh, San Jose 35 as well. So as you can see, the numbers are very similar because the numbers for gun has dropped. We just wanted to touch on that just so you don't have that stigma in your head when you're looking at these schools. The numbers are very similar to its competitors. Uh, but now that we've covered the Healthy Kids Survey results, Let's get into the academics. So for Gunn High School's academics, uh, one main point is, like we said before, they offer a wide variety of AP courses. Uh, as you can see at the bottom, they offer 26, which is uh, five more than the second rated one, which is Mission San Jose at 21. And then they are their SAT and ACT scores uh, are lower than the other schools. As you can see, uh, 2019, it was 28.9, and that dropped a little bit to 27.5 in 2020 for the ACT. Uh, for the SAT, their scores dropped a little bit as well from 1377 in 2019 to 1357 in uh, 2020. 
but looking at the other academics uh, for their GPA, theirs is, is done a little bit differently. It's unweighted, but it's uh, they don't have a 4.0 category, just 3.76 to 4. About half the students receive that. And then uh, for 3.51 to 3.75 and 3.01 to 3.5, that's the same, 19.5% of the students. Uh, when looking at the National Merit Semifinalists, uh, it's about the same, 35 in 2020, 34 in 2021. Uh, and for AP tests, 90% received a score of three or higher, and then 43% received a five. Uh, for the CAASP, 71% were college ready in English, and 68 were college ready in math. Uh, so now that we have covered uh, Gunn High School, let's get into our last